Hi everyone, I'm going to make a really quick layer. Um, I know I always say that, but this one actually is going to be really quick. Partially because I know exactly what I want to do, and partially because I have to make this quick because my memory card on my camera is almost full. So, <laughs> dual purpose for the quickness of the video. Oh my gosh, I did not glue that down straight. Also, I usually mount the photos together like that. Alright. And they're still not straight. So I'm using a piece of 8.5 by 11 paper from um, a package of paper that I got at Michael's, which is an Amy Tangerine collection. Okay. So I'm going to put this on straight this time, hopefully. I really don't like this photo paper from Walmart. Like their new, whatever they're printing their photos with now. It's really, really thin and I don't care for it. Just trimming this to be a very, very small, narrow border around the photos, and I will show you why in a second, because I don't want it competing with this. Now, this piece of paper is just a scrap that I had in my collection, clearly not big enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it in half, and just put a little bit sticking out from the top, and... I'm going to put it this way, because I, well, I'm going to put it this way, up here, and then this way down here, so you get the more of the, I don't really want that dark purpley color on this layer. So that's what I'm going to do for that, and then I need a journaling card that goes there, um, I'm going to grab my honey core kit from Studio Calico, or not Studio Calico, Project Life, and just find one. I'm thinking I want yellow, so I might use this one. Ooh. That one would be good too. gonna choose between one of these two. I don't really want to keep looking around in my core kit. Actually, I think I might use both of these. Okay. So that'll work. I'm just gonna glue this down. sliding around on me. <laughs> okay. My pictures are going to go, oh, I didn't glue it over far enough. Well, no, I'll leave it. It's fine like that. Chloe is playing in the background again. So, I, my title is going to go here, so I want to leave enough room. <coughs> I apologize. Still have not taken allergy medication. Today. So, I'm going to put that there. But I think I'm going to find, see if I can find a, a card in the blue color just to kind of... Um, I want more of a filler card than a 
journaling card. Shaking my camera. My product life cards live on that shelf over there. So I'm just going to put cut this card in half. This blue card and put half of it above this and half of it below. Just to kind of give a little bit more grounding to this project to this card here um, so it's not kind of like just floating off <laughs> in the distance there I chose this number card because this is actually a layout oh the back side would have worked well too uh, no. I'm going to leave it the way that I had it. Anyways, I chose this number card because this is a layout of my kitten and she's growing. And anyways, it's very simple. So I'm just going to write a little bit about her feet. Okay, so I'm just writing about her feet. I know it seems like an odd thing to write about, eh. and I completely realize that. I'm just going to take some gold color shine and just kind of sprinkle just a little bit in the background here and behind where my title is going to go, just so the background doesn't seem so... And I'm running out of this mist, so it's hard to get it to come out. I'm just going to put some over the journaling card there. Okay. Um, this layout title is going to be called uh, Tiny... Feet, I think, or maybe like kitten feet or something. I'm not sure. I'm gonna use these stickers from Amy Tangerine, and I don't really like these stickers, but I'm determined to use them eventually. I don't like them because they are striped, and I find that they're hard to read. But I thought as her, oh, I just smudged me there. I thought as she is light gray and dark gray, it might go all right, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll call this layout Tiny Feet. I like the font of these thickers. I just don't like that they're striped. It's not my favorite pattern, but that's okay. I have them in aqua color as well. I got them in a kind of like a grab bag type thing. Um, at Winners, you get six packages of thickers for five or twenty dollars, I believe. 
So occasionally I will go there and see what they have. Most of the time they don't really have anything that I want. All right. So I'm just calling this tiny feet and I, I might add some embellishment to this layout. I might not. Oh, this is just a tip that I found somewhere. If you want to put your thickers back in the packaging, but you know how difficult it is to get them back in, just cut some, like a small strip off the side and they go in a lot easier. So that's just a little tip I picked up from, I'm not sure where. Of course now I won't be able to get them back in because I said that it was easy to get them to go back in. <laughs> yeah. That's how it works. There we go. The adhesive is just sticking on the packaging. So then they go into the bag a lot easier. So you don't have to repackage them or anything. You just, like you don't have to buy any other bags. So I'm going to use, I have these um, paper clips and I want to use um, there it is. I want to use either the heart or the bird now my bird ones are stuck together oh I'm smearing gold color shine everywhere actually I might use one of each just because I think they're adorable. These paper clips. I got them from Stampin' Up! on sale. They were in the clearance area of Stampin' Up! so you probably can't get them anymore, but they're just, like, they're nothing um, overly fancy. Now, because this is um, there, now, I'm just going to add a pop top to this corner and to the top corner as well, which kind of adds cool dimension as well as stabilizes the page. I'm not sure why my cat is yelling at me, but anyways, she's, she's probably upset that the kitten is out. Um, I have some... that I think I might put on this page. Yeah, that's not bad. These are my caramel. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's mommy's chair. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have some cat stickers up, hopefully. I do have some, or I had some. Often use stickers anymore. I have dog stickers. <laughs> oh, my mini markers. I have a lot of travel themed stickers because I bought them when they were on sale. having a big sale. So, um, I found these, they're little paw prints, which I think is very much applicable to this. So I'm going to put a couple of these on the layout, kind of just everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but <laughs> scattered. Oh. I'm going to put one down here too, just so and I realize that's four, and I don't usually put four. Um, I'm also going to stick this here. This is a vellum sticker, and this is up to no good, which I kind of like, because she's always, 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 always up to no good. 
and she's very quiet right now and honestly I find that a bit frightening. So I'm just going to write the date over here. Um, I'm just going to put June 2014 because I don't remember the actual date. And I'm going to outline or write that over a couple times just so it stands out a bit on this busy pattern paper. I have no clue why my cat is upset. But anyways, so that's my quick layout. Um, I just wanted to document it quickly and I'm not entirely positive what other embellishments you would put on this layout <laughs> given that it's a layout about cat feet. So I will post a link to my blog down below and um, there will be pictures up on my blog um, eventually, <laughs> I hope. And uh, thanks for stopping by and have a great day. Bye-bye.